What is up guys, Mr. Rasmussen here. I'm going to be going over how to use the MakerBot print software today so that you can take the software or take the 3D models that you've made, put them into the MakerBot software and then plug that into your MakerBot printer so you can actually print those amazing designs that you've made. So to do this, we're going to just open up MakerBot Print. You'd be surprised how many of my students don't know how to open up an application on the computer. So to do that, you press the Start menu. You can just search for the app. It's MakerBot. I already have it open, but just so we're all on the same page on how to open an app on the computer. Here it is opening up. Here we are. Okay, sometimes it'll ask you to log in with Google. Uh, just do that. So I usually get a, US, a STL file on a USB from my students, and that's what I put into here. So my USB is already connected to my, this computer. So all I need to do is go to File, Insert File, and now I can search. I don't, don't go to Downloads because it's not downloaded on the computer. It's on the USB. And just look for the file that you want to print. Okay, let's do Family Keychain. All right, this comes into our tray. We can move it around. I can also, well, each time I put something in, the first thing I want to do is come over here to estimate print time so I can see about how much time it'll take to print. Um, I do this, it runs this report because each um, thing that I print on my printer, I only want to take about an hour. Um, that's about that's a, as much material and as much time as I'm willing to give to each student's object. So this one takes exactly an hour. Okay, so that's great. I don't need to change the size of that any more or less. Let's go ahead and add another object, another file over here. Um, let's do August Lizard. Okay, cool. Yeah, this one is definitely too big. Uh, so we're definitely going to have to scale it down. Let's go ahead and do the print preview. And I can just remember that it took an hour with just the family. Uh, it's going to take longer with the lizard. Uh, with each one, I can add maybe 10 minutes or so because it's going to be taking time to move from family over here to lizard. The closer I bunch these together, the faster it'll be able to go because it's going to be having to move. It's going to be making this bottom layer and it's going to be having to move all the way around. Um, to make those bottom layers. But anyways, let's see how much time we have here. Okay, I can see that it's going to take 5 hours and 43 minutes to print these two things. That's going to be way too long for me, so what I'm going to need to do is size down this lizard until that total time comes down to about 2 hours and 10 minutes. So to do that, I can go to scale. I can go to scale, and we're at 100% right now. Uh, let's go ahead and take that down to 50. If I press 50 and press enter, it automatically scales everything together. Let's move these close together, and then let's go ahead and run the print preview again. Got okay, 2 hours and 23 minutes. Um, I can go a little smaller on the lizard. Let's scale, let's do 45, and I'm sure that'll be good if I do 45. So I'm going to want to do that with every every time I add in a new file. I want to run the preview and make sure that I'm only adding about an hour and 10 minutes each time. Um, you're going to want to watch out for things that cannot be printed. Things like, let's go ahead and, I'm, I think that I saw an airplane somewhere and I think the airplane was one that definitely could not be printed. Oh yeah, this, this airplane looks cool, but this cannot be printed on our 3D printer. Also, if I ever need to rotate anything, I can just do orient, rotate these different directions if I ever need to. Sometimes, that, sometimes it takes something that wasn't able to be 3D printed, and now I am able to, but I, there's nothing I can do about this airplane. Uh, because some of you might know, but anything that's floating isn't going to be able to print it. So this propeller... See how this propeller is, is connected to nothing up to the ground? There's no space between this propeller and the ground. Um, as the 3D printer spits out the string, gravity does its thing, and that st string just falls straight down. So we always need to create things that um, build from the ground up. Like this lizard would be totally fine. 
this family sign, everything is connected to the ground. Whereas this airplane, this back wing, everything, uh, most of this airplane would not be able to be printed. We'd be able to get a little bit here in the middle because that's actually connected to the ground. But um, everything else is not connected. And so that's the problem we have. And so we got to watch out for those. Those ones, just go ahead and delete. Uh, don't even try to print those. Let the student know whoever printed, whoever made that, that that's not going to work. And I usually try to go over that as much as I can, but I still always get a few that uh, always end up just having problems. So that's how we use the MakerBot print software. Once we get, once we have our file and we're ready to go, and we can pretty much fill up this whole tray. All right now that we're good with the amount of time that our print is going to take, we're going to come down here to export the export button. Go ahead and press that. We're going to save this back to the same USB where we were grabbing the files. This time it's being saved as a MakerBot file. We took in STL files and now we're transforming those STL files to MakerBot files. So um, a good thing I like to do is I like to do the day and the time that I made this batch. So if I'm making this on August 26, I do 8 underscore 26 and I do underscore 12.00 for noon. That means I'm making this print job at on August 26th at noon. And that's a good way to be able to find that file once I've plugged this USB back into the MakerBot printer. And I can go through and easily find the one I'm looking for. Now I just go ahead and press save. Wait till my USB stops flashing. Let's me know how much uh, plastic it'll take, how much time it'll take again. Uh, now I can just go back over here to my files folder. Oh, eject eject the USB and um, now you're good to go. Safe to remove the hardware, go ahead and unplug that. Got my USB, this is now ready to plug into the US to the MakerBot printer and I can find that file and go ahead and just print, press print and everything should run smoothly. Okay, thanks for watching guys.